Can you guys see that up there? That's the the damn wall, or the weir wall. It's like a little something building up there. But today, what I'm doing is showing you that. Have a look at it. It just looks nasty. This is a 2015 Z1000 Sugomi. Now the Japanese nicknamed it the Sugomi means I think power within. Because it's like, just like crunched up. Mate, this thing is awesome. This is the colour I wanted. I got this for a pretty good price, all things considered. Um, it's got a few little things wrong with it. But I can deal with that over the next, you know, next 12 months or so. But um, um, it's just got stuff on it already that I didn't even know it had. What else we got? We got um, massive brakes. They're mono blocks. They're really, really cool. We've got the colour. This this colour is just. If you can see that, it's like a, a bit like a gum metal grey, I guess, um, with the flick in it. Then it's got this candy burnt orange. It's unbelievable. This is the colour I wanted, and it came up. Actually, two came up. Can you believe that? Two at the same time. But one was 13k Australian. I got this for 10. Granted, the other one did have half the Ks this one's got. This one's got 24,000 kilometres. I picked it up at 23,000, or just over. 23,900, sorry. Um, but it's got the Vanson Hines Urban Brawlers on there. Um, these are a wicked looking pipe. Like I can say from experience, I've had these on three Z1000s on my earlier models. They look awesome, especially from the back. You know, you've got these quad pipes. Just sticking out and thinking, you know, telling you to piss off sort of thing from behind me. But they sound shit. Uh, to me anyway, look I can't speak for everybody else. They just they just buzz and they don't have a um they used to make what they called sound inserts that took the edge off it like a small baffle. You can't get them anymore. So they will be coming off at some point. Got these cheap eBay mirrors, but they actually look and they work pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that actually. Pretty happy. They actually don't look too bad. I, I mean, I wish they still had the bar ends because the bars, without the bar end weights, adding a few more, a bit more weight to it, they can be a little bit buzzy. But I can fix that. I've got some pussy grips at home that I've used on other bikes. Yeah, have a look at that. What a bike. It's got these SDR unbreakable adjustable levers so if you land on the ground they come up this way they don't snap and you can undo that and they slide backwards and forwards to give you either a short lever or a longer lever which is pretty cool but look at these headlights man look at that it has four LEDs in there four which are pretty cool I'll just switch that on for you so you can see them I'm going to start it. I'll start it first. Have a listen to this. You might as well have a listen to it. Actually, I'm going to show you the dash. So this is quite a little compact dash, but it gives you a lot of information. So that red light there that's, uh, that's flashing is the um, immobilizer. But you've got to tack. It starts here. It goes 1, 2, 3. Then it comes up here. 4 to 11. See, so watch how it primes. How cool is that? So you've got your fuel gauge, you've got your, your speedo, 1 to 3, 4 to 11, your clock. It's got like trip A, trip B, your normal sort of stuff, the ABS light, which will go out. Now I'll just start that up. Okay. Because it's got these pipes on it and the servo valve is missing. Um, so you can see that it goes to 1. See so it come up here? You can hear those pipes. Fuel smells a little bit stale, so I'm going to top it up today. It's got a battery charger there, pigtail. Anyway, back to these lights. Have a look at these. Have a look at that. It's got the light up there too. It's like a bloody 
uh, off of um, uh, well they call them a so uh, cyborgs and stuff. Put the high beam on. And you have all four. Man, they're pretty bright, eh? They are pretty bright. So you just got these indicators on here. They're not. I mean, they're okay, but a lot of stuff was missing with this bike. There's no books. Um, there's no original indicators. I've already had to change the rear indicators. Just lucky I had these types of things. You see, I've got the cascading ones on there because they had those ones on the back here and they were actually hidden in behind the plate. Couldn't see them. Made it really dangerous, so. But now that, they actually look much better. So it sounds actually pretty good. I'll put the reflector on there, it's a legal requirement. Yeah, fuel smells a little bit on the stale side, so I might have to go and put some fresh fuel on it. It's a 98 in it. Yeah, so what do you reckon, guys? So this is the introduction to the Z1000, the Sugomi. They call it a Sugomi, but it's a um, pretty... It's just an awesome bike. I mean, look at the stance on it. It's just so aggressive. So when I was saying to you before, I was going to get one of these. I mean, I probably wasn't anticipating on getting one so quickly. But when, when a green and gray, a green and gray, a completely black and gray, um, two oranges and these like this metallic uh, gunmetal, I suppose you would call it, popped up and. Man, I just had to do it, I mean, I could have waited another two or three months, but then again, I could have missed out. So I got this for 10k, it was advertised at 11, I got it for 10. So, pretty good. Didn't really get as much as I wanted on the street triple. That was a bit disappointing. But, um, yeah, anyway, it's all done now. But it's got uh, mono blocks. Kawasaki, I think they're Takikos, but they branded them. Mono blocks, so that basically means that the brakes are one piece. They're not a two piece brake system, but they're like, mate, they <laughs> tell you what, they are grippy. They stop you so quickly. Fully adjustable, upside down, uh, show a big piston forks. Um, fully adjustable rear suspension on there. You can see here, I don't know if you can see too well because the bars are in the way, but you've got your, that's your preload, and then here you've got your compression and rebound so they're pretty much the same as what I had on the, on the 765 Triumph which was pretty cool um, it's got the tank pad on there which was already on there don't know how I feel about that with the white Z's because the seat's got these Z's or Z's and uh, they go I don't know he's put them in there they put the gold um, fuel cap bolts they're going to come out I don't know why they put the gold in there if, if anything I would have gone black or just the original colour like these, the alloys. What else have I had to do? I've just got the bobbins on there for my paddock stand. So I pretty much cleaned it up for a fair bit. It was sort of brought in and advertised without really having much done to it. It has been serviced by the people that I bought it from, which was pretty good. So it's brand new oil and filter on there. Um, it's got an RNG tail tidy. So everything was pretty much done. The only thing that I do have to get for this, now I'm a big sticker about these, as you all know. I don't know why people just don't do it, all the manufacturers just don't supply them. It needs a rad guard to protect that radiator. I mean, if that, if I hit a stone or anything like that, or stones get flicked up, at, up in, up, up, it's just, it's, it's got to be, um, even being in the industry, it's probably still going to cost me eight, nine hundred bucks for a new radiator. So, it's got to be sorted out real quick. So I've hit a few bugs this morning already. She was spotless when I picked my brought out this morning. Yes, some bit anal when it comes to shiny things, a bit like a magpie. So what do you reckon guys? That orange and that and that gun middle that pops. So happy I got this colour. So happy. So happy indeed. Seat's fucking uncomfortable, pardon my French. I've just ridden about 55 kilometres to get here. And I got off, and my ass is already pretty numb, so it looks the part, it looks really nice, and it feels when you touch it like that. 
but it's really hard so I might to investigate maybe an aftermarket gel seat or buy another one at some point and get, get it re-upholstered with some gel foam in it anyway what do you reckon guys I love it it's got tons of power 142 horsepower and 111 newton meters of torque you can feel that torque I can tell you in every every gear through the entire rev range so what do you reckon just put your comments in the uh, comments below um, it's no it's not it's not as refined as the Triumph the Triumph is really smooth and solid but there's a lot of things that on this that outweigh the Triumph as well um, so they both have their advantages and disadvantages but um, I've only done maybe I don't know 160 kilometers on it since I bought it so I'm still still sort of um, tuning with it I guess getting to know it a bit better uh, there's a few things I had to fix on here um, the, this alloy here had some stains on it it's still very faint so it was obviously sprayed with something and never cleaned off and because it when it got heated up on the motor and everything it just decided to stain everything so the old ace all come out cleaned it up beautifully um, what else what else I'm gonna be changing these front indicators they look sick on there but they're just they're not visible enough I like to be seen as you, and there's bike riders we all know it's bad enough as it is with cages trying to kill us but I like those I, I do have another set of these at home so they might go on the front we'll see how we go anyway guys i am bored you long enough I will be bringing a lot more on this this is going to be the new bike for this year um, of course my Street Bob 114 which is also black and orange can you get that I love black and orange combo it's wicked anyway guys before I get sidetracked again and start drooling on about nothing um, I will see you soon again on another one bye for now